Everyone wants clear skin, right? It's easier said than done. Here are 13 reasons why you don't have clear skin right now, and if you want to see what they are, keep watching. Two tips. Everyone deserves to have clear skin. It gives us confidence and makes us feel good inside. That's why in today's video, I've teamed up with Clarence to share with you guys my best tips and reasons why you might not be having clear skin right now and ways on how to start your journey to clear skin today. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell for new videos every week, especially if you want to see more videos like this one. All right, let's get started and show you guys 13 reasons why you don't have clear skin right now. One of the biggest reasons for not having clear skin is not cleansing enough. I love the two-step cleansing process. First, I'll be taking off any leftover makeup, dirt, and oil with the Clarins Water Comfort One-Step Cleanser with Peach Essential Water. This is great for normal or dry skin and helps soften and soothe, leaving the skin supple and velvety soft. This no-rinse formula is super easy to apply. Just moisten two cotton pads and gently sweep all over the face and neck. Tip, make sure to flip over the cotton pad and use the other side as well. Do this for about 30 seconds and now we're off to the next step. Well, you could not be exfoliating enough. Exfoliating helps so much when it comes to clear skin because it removes dead skin and helps products absorb and work better. Here I'm using the Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser with Orange Extract. First, I'll wet my face a little with some warm water and squeeze a generous amount under the fingers and start working this into the skin in circular motions. This whisks away makeup, impurities, and dry flaky cells and reveals glowing skin. What's also great about this is that it softens and refreshes the radiance in the skin and bonus, the silica microbeads are eco-friendly. I love that Clarins has an amazing range of cleansers that suits all different skin types so it's super easy to create your own personalized skincare routine. I'll scrub, scrub, scrub for about a minute and make sure you do exfoliate for a generous amount of time so that it does take away the dead skin cells. And while doing that, use gentle pressure. When that's all done, I'll rinse off with warm water and pat dry. Next up, you're not using toner. First tip off the bat, always use alcohol-free toner. The Clarins Toning Lotion with Chamomile is perfect for normal or dry skin, which I have. It helps to balance, soften, and soothe the skin. Toner is one of those extras that not everyone uses, but it's definitely worth a try if you haven't included toners in your skincare routine. For this, I just moisten two cotton pads and sweep gently all over the face. After our cleansing and toning, my skin is feeling and looking so much more radiant and soft. Moving right along, another reason why you don't have clear skin is you might not know your skin type. Make sure you know whether it's dry, oily, or combination. It's a huge help. Next, you're not embracing oils. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know I love face oils. They help retain moisture and it also keeps your skin hydrated. What I love to do is warm the face oil up in my fingers and then gently tap and pat the oils in to fully absorb. When it comes to clear skin, you need to be changing your pillowcases more often than not. We change ours about every two to three days. I wanna make sure our pillowcases are clean and sanitary because a lot of the time when you're sleeping, you can sweat and bacteria can go on it. So make sure you change your pillowcases regularly to avoid any skin breakouts. When's the last time you checked your product's expiry dates? Look for the PAO or period after opening. You can easily find it by searching for a little open jar icon on the product or package containing the number of months the product can be safely used after opening it. Another huge reason for not having clear skin is you're not sanitizing your phone. These are things we use on a daily basis. And for some of us, we use it a lot more than we should. Phones are a magnet for bacteria and that's why I love using the Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer. I just put a couple of sprays on a tissue paper and wipe my phone all over. The front, the back, the camera, the sides, the buttons, the power button, everything. I've been sanitizing my cell phone for years. I probably do this about every other day. I just know that there are so many things my phone touches and my phone touches my face and I definitely don't want that stuff creeping up on my face and causing breakouts. So definitely sanitize your phone often. Another reason why you might not have clear skin is you're using too many products. What you want to do is keep it simple, especially if you're a beginner. Just double cleanse, tone, 
and moisturize. I love my makeup brushes, but I hate cleaning them. Another reason why you might not have clear skin is because you're not regularly cleaning your brushes enough. Here I'm using the Quo Waterless Brush Cleanser, and this is really perfect for cleansing your brushes after one use. Instead of going ahead and taking 20 of your brushes and cleaning them all at one time because that sounds like a super tedious task to me and I don't really want to do it, this is much more manageable. I just spray it right directly onto the brush and then use a paper towel and gently buff out the product. This way, I get them clean more often and after every use and instead, I'll be more inclined to do this than taking 20 brushes and cleaning them all at the same time because that as many of you guys know, can take at least an hour if not longer depending on how many brushes you have and I have quite a few. So doing this helps save time and it actually gives me an idea of which brushes I use the most. So make sure you clean your brushes. Getting enough sleep is crucial for clear skin amongst many other health benefits. This podcast with Joe Rogan and Matthew Walker gave me a completely different perspective on sleep and how scientifically it's so important to get between seven to nine hours of sleep per night. I highly recommend you listen to this podcast. It will change your view of sleep and how important it is. Now, if you find yourself tossing and turning at night, an app I use is called Calm. This sleep story called Blue Gold is one of my favorites. It's super relaxing and I fall asleep within five minutes of turning it on. If you find yourself stressed, it's normal, but too much of it can be bad for you. Whenever I feel stressed, I like to put my phone away, sit on my bed and do some stretches and deep breathing. Think of this time made just for you. There's nowhere to be, nowhere to go. Your only job is to relax and think of nothing. Another great way to relax is to actually prop your feet up on the wall. This posture allows the mind to relax, relieving stress and tension. While my feet are up, I like to do some leg stretches at the same time. Do this for at least 10 minutes. Even though it's a passive pose, the benefits are great, like relieving tired leg muscles. It gives you the benefits of inversion by helping to reverse the effects of gravity on the whole system and helps regulate blood pressure. It's super calming for the nerves and helps quiet the mind. And lastly, if you want clear skin, what goes inside is just as important as what goes on outside. Make sure you're drinking lots of clean water, eat your fruits and veggies, or what I like to refer to eating the colors of the rainbow. You'll start to feel and look great inside and out. Thanks for watching.